Welcome back to another Premiere Pro CC tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a seamless mask wipe transition that looks like this. Okay, let's get started with this tutorial. With Premiere Pro CC open, I have the two pieces of footage inside the project, and then I have them down in the timeline. This is the finished version of the effect, so let's walk through what's going on here before we actually start to do the effect. Let's turn off the bottom video layer so we can see exactly what's happening on the top here. And it's one video clip that tilts up, and as it tilts up, it moves past a pole. So as you can see, there's nothing after the pole, and that's because we have masked out this side. The bottom layer ends up being revealed behind the clip. So that's the technique we're gonna be working on today. So let's zoom out here. I have the exact same clips over here, I just duplicated it. And the only difference is on this one, we're starting from scratch. So I have the video layer on top with the video layer below it, but as you can see, it does not reveal what's behind because we haven't done any masking yet. All right, so let's get started. So for now, we'll turn off the bottom layer because really nothing happens to the bottom. It's just underneath whatever we choose to reveal from the top. What we're looking for is the very first frame when the pole ends. So that would be somewhere around there. That's gonna be the start of our mask and the end of our mask as you've probably guessed, will be when the pole is completely gone. Right there. Let's click on the top layer. We'll go into Effect Controls, and then we will click on the Pen tool. That will create mask information, but we haven't created a mask yet. Then on our program monitor, we will make a line just on the edge, and we can refine it afterwards, so it's not all that important right now. Once we have that created, Let's go to the corners and adjust this out of frame there and out of frame there. And then the same for there and for the bottom. In order to see those, we can change the view to 75%. So that'll be okay for now. Over here inside the effect controls, let's set the mask to a mask feather of 25. and align that right up to the edge. And then we'll do the same to the bottom. So in order to do this on every frame, we need to create some keyframes. So let's create a mask path. That'll create a keyframe right there. Then what we'll do is go all the way to here, which is the start of the footage. And with the top layer selected, we'll click mask. And then we'll drag this all the way to here. We'll go to the very top. And we'll drag the top all the way to the far left. Then we'll go to the very end, the last frame, and we'll go to the far right now. Give ourselves a little more room. And fully remove the mask outside of our frame. So now we have three keyframes. We have one in the center, one at the beginning, and then one at the end. This will allow us to keyframe in between those three a lot easier. And if we scrub through, you can see that it does follow it across, but it's not perfect. So we need to make this perfect. Let's go frame by frame and adjust the mask on each frame.
And masking is quite new in Premiere Pro. Actually, it's only been around for a few years, so they haven't really figured out everything. After Effects does a really good job, but Premiere is a little behind. So if you get to a spot where you can't really get to the, uh, the point here by uh, scrolling down, then you need to go to 25%. That'll reveal the bottom. I'm just jumping a few frames at a time and adjusting the mask on the top and the bottom. And now we've completed a rough job going through every few frames and making our mask set to where we want it to be. Now if we go up to the effect controls, click there and then zoom in. Just expand that a little bit. You'll see that there are some gaps in our keyframes. So if we go to those areas and then adjust those, it'll help with our uh, animation to be smoother. Now that we've done that, we can turn on our bottom layer and have a look to see if we have completed the effect. So as you can see, there's a few spots where the mask isn't perfect. So we can either go through and adjust all the keyframes, or we can simply go to the mask expansion, which I find to be a faster approach here, and just reduce this by, let's say, minus 15. Now reducing the mask expansion will crop a bit of the post, so keep that in mind. It might not be the best thing to do depending on the type of wipe transition you're trying to create, such as a person's face or something. But since this is just a poll, we have no clue how wide it really is, so we can take advantage of the mask expansion, reduce it, and no one will ever tell the difference. Okay, let's have a look at the finished effect. All right, that's looking great. Now, in the final video, I had it sped up a little bit, so we can simply cut it right when the poll comes in and then use the rate stretch tool to speed it up. We'll bring our footage to the beginning of the, uh, the pole transition. Okay, and then there is the finished effect. Okay, I hope that was helpful. It's a pretty easy effect to do. You just have to plan ahead when you're filming and have something either cross your frame or have your camera cross something in the frame to get the wipe transition effect. All right, so that does it for this video. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below if you have something to say. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell to be notified when we release new videos. We'll see you next time.